Since you still go to church, sing in the choir, do other church works, and, or even preach, Jesus said to me, What you have in most churches today are cut off branches which are firewoods for hellfire. This morning, a sharp cry from hellfire woke me up. Satan is working so hard. That is why, rather than repenting, people are backsliding the more. Evangelism or soul winning is no longer the passion. The harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. How much of your time and money goes into genuine soul winning? When did you last cry? Because you know your family members will miss heaven if the rapture occurs now. This morning's experience which I had increased my hatred for Satan, sin, and his works. All Broadway ministers are false prophets. Grace that gives you free ride in sin makes you an accident that must happen in hellfire. Seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness first and all the rest added unto you is the standard of the true gospel. God promised to add all good things you need in this life, but they do not come first as they do not possess eternal value. When you make them first, they become gods competing with God. If Jesus requires you to pluck off your eyes, cut off your hand and leg, if they will constitute hindrances to your making it to heaven, rather than going to hellfire with your whole body, what do you think? Locate straight gate churches and ministers and connect with them. Flee from deceivers before it's too late. Apart from the rapture, do you know if this could be your last day or the last genuine message that will be coming to you? Get wise and genuinely repent. When you are reconciled with God, you stand better chances of getting His promises of blessings fulfilled. Sin exposes you to Satan's destruction now and for all eternity. Read Matthew chapter 7 verse 13. My pastor friend said to me, Beg Jesus to give me another chance. I know he's your friend and will hear you. But the fact is that in hellfire, prayers are not answered. My friend, Jesus did not answer my prayer in hellfire. He's sending me to you now. Let as many as possible get this message also. You are supposed to be a candidate of heaven, not hellfire. That is why this message is coming to you. My pastor friend was so gifted and anointed. I saw so many anointed and gifted people in hellfire like my pastor friend. His prophecies were so accurate and his spiritual giftings superb. The Lord said to me, Son, many anointed and gifted people are here in hellfire, but no single Christian. Many claim to be Christians, but are deceiving themselves. I do live in genuine Christians, and they live my life, no more theirs, in true holiness and righteousness. When I was living hellfire with Jesus, my pastor friend cried a cry that caused tears to stream down from the eyes of the Lord in mine. My pastor friend cried, Are you leaving me here forever? How did I end up here? And this is not going to be just for a moment. Jesus took hold of my hand as we were leaving. Because I was dragging my feet, hoping he would change his mind. But in eternity, everything is fixed. Please, spread this message in the urgency of heaven and in the spirit of love. Let it go round the whole world. It will be someone's last chance, with the signs all over the world pointing to the Master's imminent return. 
Angels do not preach the gospel, neither do they win souls. It is your duty and my duty to snatch souls from hell fire by all possible means. Join Operation Snatch Them From Hell Fire now. This message must get to the ends of the world through your determinate actions and instructions. When I woke up this morning after seeing how the devil is fast dragging souls to hell fire with a net as big as the whole earth, a voice said to me, only those truly on fire for Christ can be a match for hellfire. The Lord Jesus says, Behold, I come quickly. This urgent end time last call from Jesus Christ to repent has come with love to you through his living witness. Witness can Paul be again. Escape today from had I known. Eternity is forever.